Yo, 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 this is Games Graphics, we back in the building with another tutorial for you, and this one is going to be how to disable your antivirus, okay, um, a lot of people have problems um, downloading certain files because of their antivirus won't allow them to download it and install it uh, for certain games, uh, like pirated games and stuff like that, we sometimes need like Trojans, to put inside of it, you know, just to activate certain things. So uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to disable your antivirus. Okay, mine's right now is uh, McAfee or M M McAfee. Yeah, this one right here. Okay, now uh, there may be people that have different ones. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to uh, disable your antivirus using this program. Okay, I also am going to have a link down in the description, which will lead you to. McAfee's website. All right, this link will lead you straight to the free uh, beta program, which you could download um, inside of your computer. This is uh, from Windows 7, I believe, and up right here. All right, this is all free. You don't need any credit cards or anything like this. Okay, so I have the link down in the description. Once you click on that and download that, or if you already have it, then we can go ahead and continue. Okay, now there's two ways that you could um, access uh, your uh, McAfee program. You could do it just like how I did. Come over here down in the bottom where it says show hidden icons. Click on that and you will see like a, a badge type of logo right here. You just want to click on that. Scroll up to open. Make a fee live, live safe. All right. And then a window will pop up. Okay. When your window pops up with this, all you're going to do is click on PC security. Okay. When PC security opens up, you will see real time scanning firewall automatic updates schedule scans all these things will be automatically on okay now what we will do is be turning off our real-time scanning okay once you click on real-time scanning another window will pop up this window right here says antivirus and anti-spyware real-time scanning on okay this is where you will turn it off all right whenever that you have the file that you're ready to download you want to turn this off Download the file, put it where it needs to be, and then you want to add that file to this excluded list. As you can see, I have uh, two files, well, two of the same, but I have two files inside of my excluded list. All right. Now, I'm going to do one live for you right now just to show you how this works. Okay. Now, I have a game, The Sims, right here. Now, The Sims requires a certain Trojan that the computer will. Uh, recognize as like a virus or something like that so every time that I try to download it and try to install it where it needs to be it gets rid of it so I'm going to show you what happens when I try to open up the sims by double clicking on it all right click yes then we get a little box popping up a little error message a lot of you are probably familiar with this message right here uh, it might not be the same but it always an error message that pops up saying that something is missing okay um, the code execution cannot proceed because orange emu 64.dll was not found. Reinstalling the program may fix this problem. Reinstalling the program would not fix this problem. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem right now. All right, since we know what file we're missing, you can either take the file that you're missing and Google where to get that file at. I already have my file ready right here. I'm going to show you what happens when I download it and my antivirus is still on. Okay, I'm going to click download right now. Okay, it says what do you want to do with this file? I want to save it. Okay, I'm just going to click save. All right, it says it's running security scan right now. All right, we're still we are still waiting for it to run its security scan. Six and a half hours later. So if this happens, there you go. As you can see, it's a red box down here now. It says the file that I was trying to download, it contained a virus and was deleted. Okay. If you click on view downloads, you will see that it says in red, this file contained a virus and was deleted. All right. So we will not be able to get that in here with our antivirus on. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to open up our McAfee 
uh, security system right here. We're going to click on PC security. Then we're going to scroll down to real time scanning. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to click on turn off. Okay. We click on turn off. It will say real time scanning continuously protects your PC against viruses, spyware, and other threats by instantly checking files anytime you or your PC uses them. Are you sure you want to turn it off? All right. And it says, when do you want to resume real time scanning? Well, I think it um, automatically has it at 15 minutes. You could change it from 15 to 30 to 45, 60, or when I start my PC or never. I just leave it on 15 minutes because I, I don't need no more than that just to download the file and pull it where I need to be. All right. So we're going to leave that alone in 15 minutes. Then we're going to click turn off. Boom. Okay. Now it's everything's turned off. All right. Now we're going to minimize that window. As you can see, it says that it's turned off and that, you know, stay protected. It's like, you know, you know, with the little, you know, red sign right there. Hey, you know, whatever. All right. We'll close out that window. Now we're going to go back to download. Okay. Click on download. All right. Then it's going to ask us, what do we want to do with this? Okay. We're going to, uh, let me open up my file where I need this to go. I need it to go in here. So I'm going to copy that address. And I'm going to click to save as. I'm going to put this in here. Paste that. Go to here. And then I'm going to send that file right to where I need to go. All right. And as you can see, boom, it finished downloading that quick. Okay. I click on open folder. Bow. It's right there. You see earlier when I had the antivirus on, it wouldn't allow it to be downloaded. Now that it's off, I got it that quick. Okay. Now that I have the destination where it was at. Is in here. I want to go back into um, the little window right here where I turned off the real time scanning and I want to click on excluded files. Okay. Now, the excluded files, you won't be able to access or add any files while this is off. Okay. So, before you add any excluded files, you're going to have to turn it back on. Okay. So, since we already have our file downloaded from the internet into our computer, let's go ahead and turn it back on. Okay. Now that it's on, we want to go ahead and click add file. Okay. Now the file that we're looking for is the file that they wouldn't let us download. We want to hurry up and find that file. Okay. I already copied the address to where my file was at. So I'm going to go ahead here, look for that file. I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to click open. Okay. And once you click open, your file will appear right here. Okay. That's exactly where your file will appear at in this list right here. And then once your file appears in that list, you can go ahead, click this off, close out that window right there. And since, um, yeah, our real time scanning is on, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We could go ahead and open up, uh, the Sims. Now we should have no error message and the game should go ahead and start. So I made this video to help out a couple of crowds. Uh, the main crowd is anybody that's having trouble uh, not knowing how to disable their antivirus, where to go, and how to go about it. This video is for you also. And this video is for uh, gamers that download some games, might be pirated, and uh, you know might need some Trojan files to you know complete the process in order to play the game. And uh, this is also for you know anybody else who's downloading files for games that the computer will not allow them to download because it says it's a virus. So this will help a large crowd of people to be able to get the files that you need. But also take this as a warning. Please make sure that you know that file is 100% um, protected. Make sure that you know that this that, that any files that you turn off your antivirus for are no viruses at all. Okay, You absolutely have to make sure that whatever you're trying to install a computer does not have any virus. Okay. Make sure that you trust and protect, uh, make sure that you trust, um, whatever file that you're trying to install the computer before you turn off your antivirus and always make sure you turn it back on. Okay. So as you can see, my game started and whatever, whatnot, I'm not going to play it right now. Uh, go ahead and exit out of that. All right. Okay. All right, so if uh, anybody has any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section. I hope I helped a bunch of people out. If I didn't, still leave it down in the comment section. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll make a lot more tutorials. And um, hit the like button for you boys. This game's graphics. I'm out until next time, y'all. Peace. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.